hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel please if you are new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button like comment and share emphasis on the hit the subscribe button guys so i posted this video on my shirt and somebody reached out to me to do a video on how to make this particular kind of outfit so now this is the one i went ahead to make in this video so i just made the sleeve um not as exaggerated as the other one because of the client it doesn't want it that way so let's dive into the video so the first thing i went ahead to do is take my bust point and i took my under bust measurements and i took my waist measurements then the length of the top my bust point my under bust measurements my waist measurements then the top length because i want the top to be a little bit longer so basically it's not stopping in the waist it's coming down a little so i came down by three inches from the initial waist measurement so now this is me labeling the lines so now i'm going to take my standard neckline measurement then I will take my shoulder measurements so my shoulder is 18 divided by two that's nine inches so i marked nine inches then came down by one inch then i went ahead to use my straight trailer to connect the lines like so so the next thing i'll be doing is i'll be taking my chest line measurement so it's your ball divided by six plus 1.5 so in my case it's 40 divided by six plus 1.5 so that was why i marked 8.5 inches and i'm just going to go ahead to label it then oh, it's too short so i just went ahead to you know um lengthen the length if that makes sense so extend the length sorry so the next thing i'll be doing is i took my shoulder measurement divided by two on my chest line so i just did this so we are going to have a straight line but if you know your hand is straight you can just go ahead to connect it from your shoulder to your chest line so the next thing i'll be doing is I'll take the midpoint. So in my case, then I just also took my points. So I went I in by three quarter of an inch divided by four on my chest line. So that was why I marked ten on my chest line. Then I went ahead to connect the shoulder to the three quarter of an inch. Then to the ten I marked on my chest line. So that was just basically what I did on the armhole. So now I went ahead to take my nipple to nipple divided by six, divided by two. So that's eight divided by two. That's four. So I took it on my top lines. On my waist and i'm also and i'm also going to take it on my under bust so after doing this i'm just going to go ahead to use my straight trailer to connect the line like so so after connecting the line i'm just going to determine how off i want my shoulder to be so in my case i'm using seven inches so if you want it lower you can go ahead to you know extend it to eight so it depends on you i'm just using seven inches because i don't want my own to be all that open so um i went ahead to draw a straight line then on my off the shoulder line i went ahead to mark 4.5 inches so whatever you have on your nipple to nipple divided by two you're just going to go ahead to add half of an inch to that then mark it on the off the shoulder point just like so and sorry i forgot to uh mark my nipple to nipple measurement by, by two which is the four inches of my bust point so i'm just going to go ahead to do that now so i'm just going to go ahead to connect the lines also so after connecting the line so on my on this point i'm going to take two inches two inches also on my waistline and two inches on my under busts so on the second side i'm going to take um half of an inch half of an inch then half of an inch also so i'm taking two and two and two is um, two and a half basically two at this side and half on the other side because the person is kind of big and the person has a big boss but if you are working with a smaller boss 1.5 and a half is okay basically two inches so that's okay so so i'm just connecting my that my five inch i marked on my of the shoulder point to my bust points so just like so so now i'm just going to go ahead to use my curve ruler to connect it from my under bust to my bust points then also from my under bust to my bust points 
on the other side so now on my of the shoulder line so i'm going to mark one inch on this point one inch on the other side then i'm just going to go ahead to use my ruler to connect it like so so after connecting it like so i'm just going to go ahead to take my horizontal measurement so first of all my boss divided by four is 10 so 45 by 4 is 10 so i'm just going to go ahead to mark 10 which i already marked earlier so whatever you have on this that point you're going to replace it so i have about one inch so i'm just going to go ahead to replace that so also for my under bust it's 34 divided by 4 that's 8.5 so i marked 8.5 inches then i went to i had to return back this that which is 2.5 so i marked 2.5 inches also for the waist measurement is 37 divided by 4 so you're going to go ahead to mark whatever you have for yours then i went ahead to replace my dart which is 2.5 inches so also for the top length you're just going to place your tape around where you want the top to get to so for me it's 40 divided by 4 that's 10 inches then i went ahead to replace to return back my dart so for the of the shoulder it's your bra to bra divided by two so from your one bra to the other bra divided by two so in my case 13 divided by two is 6.5 so i went ahead to mark 6.5 and you notice i skipped the that part so the 6.5 doesn't come with that that point so you're basically going to skip that two inches you took for that that then take your 6.5 measurement so i just went ahead to form a new arm o then i went ahead to connect my lines like so so um after doing this i'm just going to go ahead to form my sweetheart neckline so from this of the shoulder point i'm going to come down by two inches so after marking two inches i'm just going to go ahead to use my free hand sketch so give it this sort of sweet snake sweet art neckline now the next thing i'm going to do is from the top length i came down by three inches you can come down by four you can come down by five then you connect it from this point to that three inches it came down from so i just went ahead to you know um lengthen my dots so just connect the line like so so after doing that just take this first dart point as you can see just transfer what i'm doing take this first dart point just to make sure the curved line is properly aligned so take this first dart point then place it on the other dart point i see what i'm doing place that first dart point on the other dart point point then go ahead to draw a new line so basically this is the one we are going to use because by the time you're going to cut it out it's going to align if you do this so now this is what we have so i just went ahead to just you know asterisk this point so you've been you know just to just for you to be um aware that this is where you're going to cut out so now that i'm done doing this i'm just going to go ahead to cut it out so you have to be very careful while cutting this out like i said you know we are staring some points so as you can see i'm just going to cut up to this point then go ahead to cut it out like so then for the other side i'm just can you see i'm using that asterisk point as you can see so you're cutting just that asterisk point so by the time we cut everything out and we place them right beside each other they are going to align as you can see can you see the aligning so that's the point of you placing them the that on top of each other so i think that's just that for that i hope you get it so for the back just to save time i usually just like to place um the front piece on another piece of paper then i'm going to go ahead to you know return those 
measurements I took on the front part. So basically, I'm returning my um, waist, my underboss, the top length, the everything I took on the front part of the dress, of the top, sorry. So I just went ahead to label it. So after labeling them, so I'm just going to go ahead to remove this um, front piece then I'm just going to go ahead to connect the lines back so since the back is going to be laced no need for zip so I'm just taking my measurements back directly so my top length 40 divided by 4 that's 10 I marked 10 for my waist whatever my waist divided by 37 divided by 4 I marked it 34 divided by 4 which is my under bust I marked it also for my chest line my bust divided by 4 I marked it so for the um arm all parts basically i just for the off shoulder i just took my bra strap measurement divided by two which is 13 divided by two that's 6.5 so i'm just going to go ahead to form my arm hole then connect the lines like so so after doing that like i said it's going to be laced so i'm going to take two inches from this point so after taking these two inches I'm just going to go ahead to draw a straight trailer so this place is going to be cut out so you can just go ahead to use it this way if you want but for me i just want like a a dart in between so i just took three inches at this point and i went ahead to mark three inches at this point also then i took my ruler to draw a straight line so after drawing a straight line on um both sides i'm going to take half inch half inch so that's my dart so you can decide not to do this i'm doing no you can just go ahead to do that like use the first one i used so i'm returning back my dart which is one inch i'm returning back my dart on my top length so also what i have here the dart i have here i'm returning back on the under bust so basically there's nothing to add on the bust point so i'm just going to go ahead to use my ruler to connect it back and sorry before that i forgot to return back my dart on my waistline so i'm just going to return the waist point also so now i'm just going to go ahead to connect it back like so so now that we are done doing that i'm just going to go ahead to cut it out so this part is no longer needed and this is me cutting out the dots so like i said if you don't want all this um, extra extra you can just go ahead to use um the back without the dots if that makes any sense yeah so now that we are done doing this i'm going to go ahead to cut out the sleeve so for the sleeve i marked 10 inches for the length and i'm going to be using 8.5 inches for the width but because we need half inch so you don't allow one so i'm just going to go ahead to mark nine inches in total so now after marking the nine inches i'm just going to go ahead to use my straight ruler to connect the lines like so so after connecting the lines i'm going to go ahead to mark out the midpoint so after marking the midpoint i'm going to take two inches on this side and two inches on the other side then i'm going to go ahead to use my curve ruler to connect it like so so it all depends on the shape you want to give you can decide to use a straight ruler but because i want it a little, little bit curvy so i'm going to be using a curve ruler to connect the lines like so so now that we are done doing that i'm just going to go ahead to cut it out so after cutting it out i'm just going to go ahead to place my pattern paper on my fabric then take all my allowances so this is the center front so i went ahead to pin it down this is the side front i also went ahead to pin it down so after pinning it down i'll take my allowances so i'm taking half of an inch on this side half of an inch on the upper part also half of an inch on the lower part so for the second side half of an inch on this side also half of an inch on the upper parts 
and for the ammo because i don't i don't want any allowance at that point because i want ease so i just went ahead to just draw just connect the ammo then one inch on the side half of an inch on the lower parts so basically on the ammo there is no allowance but you can decide to put allowance on yours if you want so so i'm just going to go ahead to cut it out like so for the side front is one inch allowance can you see it's big one inch allowance so just the other parts are half inch so this is the back piece i'm just going to place it also on my fabric so i'm going to make sure it's properly placed so after planing it down i'm just going to take one inch on the side one inch one inch half inch on the upper part half inch on the side so half inch on the lower parts just like so also half inch on the sides half inch on the upper part also half inch on this other side where we are going to put the lesson so also this place because i don't want an allowance i'm just going to connect it like so so after doing this i'm just going to go ahead to cut it out so after cutting it out i went ahead to notch the points so just to the important points just to know that okay this point and this point should meet so i did that for the back and i did that for the front i notched the um, bust point the under bust just for accuracy so i would usually advise you do that so i notched the point then i went i ate to cut the exact replica on my lining so for the lining i already um iron my paper stay to the lining and also for the front part i kept this a wording but a very light one because my client doesn't want a very like thick bust key so um i did that for the lining but for the lining i didn't put the paper stay the paper stay is this white thing you're saying because the fabric is already so thick so this is this for the back also i also ironed the paper stay to the lining of the back as you can see but i didn't iron the paper stay on the fabric because it's already too thick so now for the modesty panel so the modesty panel is basically what will be at the back i mean to cover up that space because we don't want it open but if you want to just open you don't need what i'm doing right now but because i want the back to be closed even though it's going to be laced i want it closed so this is what i'll be using for the modesty panel but if you don't want it closed you can just you know skip these parts so now i'm going to measure whatever i have on my center back so for the center back i have 14.5 inches so that 14.5 inches that's what will be used so i'm just going to go ahead you know mark my starting point then from the starting point i'm just going to go ahead to mark 14.5 inches so i'm just going to go ahead to mark 14.5 inches for the length and mind you for the width i used eight inches plus half inch so you know to join it that's 8.5 so i used 8.5 by 14.5 so i'm just going to quiet to cut it out so for the sleeve i'm just going to guys fold my fabric like so then fold it over again because i'll be cutting my right and left sleeve at the same time so now that i'm done folding it like so i'm just going to place my pattern paper for the sleeve then i'm just going to go ahead to cut it out so after cutting it out this is what you're going to have so i'm just removing the pin to show you so this is the left and the right sleeve so when you open it up you have something like this so now i'm just going to go ahead to cut out the exact replica on the lining so i already done that and I also ironed my gums, my paper stay on the fabric and on the lining. So for the fabric, I use touches. So yeah, and for the lining, I use the normal lining. Yeah. So this is what we have for the sleeve. So for the organza of the sleeve, 
I'm going to divide it my sleeve into four different parts at this point then also four different parts at this other point then I'm just going to go ahead to use my straight trailer to connect the lines like so so now I just I just numbered it one two three four then I went ahead to cut it out so for the organza, I already folded my organza into two, then folded it over again because I'll be cutting out the right and left sleeve at the same time. So make sure it's, prop it's properly placed and you can as well go ahead to iron it properly before you start placing it. So in, in their orders, I'm just going to place them. So this is number one number two just make sure the distance between number one and two is like three to four inches so i'm using three inches so i'm going to place it mark three inches downward again i'm going to place number three then mark another three inches downward again um then i'm going to place number four so after placing and um, after pinning it down i'm just going to go ahead to cut it out so after cutting it out this is what we have so i'm just going ahead to remove the pin to show you what we have so this is for the right sleeve and this is for the left sleeve so to the sewing parts i'm going to place the side front on the center front making sure the notched parts are aligned and i'm just going to go ahead to pin it down so this is the importance of notching the point so you know this point and this point is supposed to meet so also i'm just going to go ahead to do the same thing for the other side place it just like so then i'm just going to also go ahead to secure it with the pin so now this is what we have when you open it up as you can see so now i'm taking it to the sewing i'm going to take it to the sewing machine to sew it up by half inch at this point and half inch on the other side so I'm, I'm also going to do the same thing on the lining i'm just going to go ahead to also place it like so making sure the notched points align and i'm just going to go ahead to secure it with a pin So also for the other side, I'm just going to go ahead to place it also, making sure the notch part are light, then half inch on both sides. So for the back, I'm just going to go ahead to place the center back on the side back and also for the other side, the center back on the side back. Then I'm just going to go ahead to pin it down like so. I'm just going to go ahead to secure it with a pin like so then i'm going to go ahead to sew it up by half of an inch okay i'm going to sew it by half of an inch so for the lining also i'm going to go ahead to do the same thing place this and sew it up by half inch place this one also and sew it up by half inch so this is what we have for the front piece after sewing it up for the fabric itself and also for the back piece so i'm just going to place them on each other side by side so i'm going to sew it up by one inch on this side also one inch on the other side so also the same do the same thing for the lining place the sides on each other for the front and back sew it up by one inch also for the other side so it's up by one inch so i'm just going to go ahead to take it to the machine to sew it up so after sewing it off so this is what we have so this is the back and fronts i already went ahead to sew it up also for the line also i already went ahead to sew it up so because there's going to be a boning I'm just going to go ahead to mark the midpoint of my lining and the boning will be on the lining not on the fabric because I don't want it to be visible so I'm just going to mark the midpoint and then after I'm marking the midpoint I'm just going to go ahead to sew this down like so also sew the other side down press it down 
so also the sides and also the back so i'm just going to take it to the sewing machine then press it down so that the boning can be able to pass as you can see can you see what i'm doing so when i press it down the boning can pass so for the center part i'm going to be using the bias so if at the time i put the bias the boning can pass through so now i'm just going to take it to the sewing machine to do that so this is me sewing up the bias on that center part i marked as you can see so i'm just sewing the bias on the center part as you can see so after sewing up the bias i'm just going to go ahead to secure the others just like so just press it down then sew it up also for the other side press it down then sew it up as you can see so i'm just going to do that for all so this is what we have after pressing it down so can you see it i already went ahead to sew it down so this is what we have this is what the font looks like now so now after doing this the next thing i'll be doing is i'll be going ahead to put my boning inside so for the boning first of all i'm just going to go ahead to place my boning and make sure whatever i have so i'm cutting it out make sure you leave half inch for the sewing so i'm just going to insert it inside so basically your boning is not going to get to the end you know we are going to be sewing it up by half at the lower part so that's just that make sure you use the lighter to you know burn it to avoid sharp edges so i'm just going to do that again then place it inside after lighting it so i already went ahead to do that for all the parts of the clothes on the lining if that makes any sense then so this is me placing the fabric on the lining so i'm going to go ahead to sew it all up by half of an inch leaving out the armhole parts you leave out the armhole parts leave out the armhole part then sew it up by half of an inch leave out the armhole part then sew it up by half of an inch so now i'm going to, i'm going to take it to the sewing machine so this is what we have after sewing it up as you can see i already sewed it up leaving out the armhole parts so this is what we have so this is what we have now after sewing it up so the next thing i'm going to be doing is putting the lacing casing so i already went ahead to cut out the fabric in the form of a bias then i went ahead to press it then now this is me i went ahead to cut out two two inches of the fabric two inches of the fabric the length so i'm just going to go ahead to place it then pin it down after pinning it down just i'm going to go ahead to mark 1.5 inches before pinning the other one again so i'm just going to pin it down just like so then mark 1.5 inches pin it down so i'm just going to do that for the consecutive ones so for the other side i'm going to place my modesty panel first on the lining make sure you place it on the lining then i went ahead to secure it with a pin so after doing that i'm just going to go ahead to flip it over so i can place the boning case on the fabric itself so just like we did for the other side you pin down the the lacing case then you come down by 1.5 inches then pin the other one down so you keep on doing that till you get to the lower part so you do that consecutively till you get to the lower part so after getting to the lower part i'm just going to go ahead to flip it over like so then i'm going to go ahead to sew it up by half of an inch on both sides so this is what we have after sewing it up as you can see 
can you see the casing so this is the casing so and also this is the modesty panel as you can see so this is what we have now that we have this i'm just going to go ahead to flip it over again so we'll be able to sew up the lower parts of the fabric so i flipped it over then make sure they are properly aligned as you can see so you can just secure it down with a pin so after pinning it down i'm just going to guide to sew it up by half of an inch on my sewing machine so i already went ahead to sew it up by half of an inch so after sewing it up i went ahead to turn it over then after turning it over i'm just going to take it to my ironing table then iron it so this is what we have after ironing it so as you can see i'm just going to properly place them the back and front so this is what it looks like so moving on to the sleeve parts so for the sleeve parts i'm going to for the lining i'm just going to go ahead to mark three lines where the boning will pass through we can decide to mark four lines so i'm just going to work with three lines so divide the lining parts into three different parts so as you can see i'm just going to draw a straight line like so draw another straight line like so as you can see and also another straight line like so so i'm going to do that for the other sleeve also draw a straight line like slow another straight line like so and the third straight line for the other side so after drawing the straight line i'm going to go ahead to create my boning kissing with my bias strip so i'll take it to the sewing machine place this to the end then you trim it out so i'm just going to do that consecutively basically do that for the other lines so yeah so for the main fabric itself i'm just going to go ahead to place the organza on top make sure you secure it like so then you know at each end do like a gathers on each end on both ends i mean so you do a gathered at that end and the gathered at the other at this other end then secure the lower part with a pin so i'm just going to go ahead to do that for the second sleeve of camera so now i already did my boning casing so i'm just going ahead to insert the boning so make sure you bone the you know the edges of the boning to avoid sharp edges so I already went ahead to insert my boning on the lining. So this is my um the main fabric who already rushed the organza on top, then the right side on the right side, then secure it down with a pin. As you can see, the right side on the right side also, and secure it down with a pin, just like so. So just make sure you are doing that properly and the ruffles are not getting in the way so i'm just going to pin it down like so so pin it down just make sure it aligns properly so after doing this i'm going to do that for the other sleeve of camera also and so i did that then sew it all by half of an inch then i went ahead to turn it out as you can see so this is what we have for both sleeve so i'm just going to go ahead to attach the sleeves on the bodies itself so this is the front part i'm going to sew it up by half of an inch and also for the back i'll place it on the sleeve parts then sew it by half of an inch i'm going to do the same thing for the other side and sew it by half of an inch also so when i'm done doing that i'm just going to go ahead to weave the um sleeve part because that's the only part that is not like turned inside out so i'm just basically going to do that for this side so it all then weave the armhole part then voila we have 
our clothes ready so this is what it looks like after sewing it off please if you enjoy this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the subscribe button let's get to 1k subscribers thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye